Praise the Lord, everybody. We want to thank God for another day which the Lord has made. We shall rejoice today and be glad because God is good and he is worthy to be praised. We want to thank God for everyone that's going to come and pray with us on today. Thank God for another wonderful Wednesday which the Lord has made. We shall rejoice today and just thank God for all that he has done for us. He has been so good. Brought us from a long way. Opened doors we couldn't, that we didn't ever think would come open. Made ways we didn't think maybe never would be made. We know man couldn't do it. We know we know God is the only one Amen. that could do for us what need to be done. Thank God for Rashawn Johnson coming in. Thank God for Catrice Rush. Thank God for Evangelist Pina Keys. God bless you. Love you too. Lisa Stewart, God bless you. Amen. We still praying for y'all strength. Continue on. You're doing well. Amen. Amen. The seal singers that I saw the home going the other night, Sunday night. Hey, wonderful job, wonderful job. Mother would be proud. Mother McGinnis would be so proud. Bishop is so strong. Thank God for him. I want to keep him in our prayers. Ella Maxwell Cotton, God bless you. Carl Davis, Dinah Edwards, amen. Wallace Black Jr. on the way. Miss Cooper, Michelle Nelson, God bless your heart. We thank God for the people of God. Monique Nelson coming in. Uh, hey, you're welcome, Sister Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Amen. Timothy Watson. I tell you, Tracy Riley. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. God bless yeah. you, Sister Tracy. Myra Locklear, Sedonia Poole. Bless you, Shawana Thomas. Oh, God, it's good. The people of God are ready. I'm ready. We ready. We all ready. Amen. To get ready to go into this prayer, <clears throat> Aquila Nelson. Amen. Miss Cooper, she shattered already, said excited about the word. Dorothy Conaway, Linda Ed Williams, that's my sister. Pastor Ruby Davis, yes, Lord. Tony Reese, ah, Linda Henderson, Mabel Williams, Nico Stewart. I tell you, Cynthia Crozier, Fayetteville, Alabama, uh, is checking in. We thank God, amen, for the folk, people of God coming in. Douglas Burgess III, my son in the gospel is here. Yolanda Young, ah, Jermaine Faircloth. Yes, my niece is here, Peaches, Lillian, amen. Ah, that's right, amen. Oh, my God. Yes, amen. Shawnette Cox, that's right, praying for the strength of God's people all over the world. Tura Arlette is here. Ah, Diana Edwards already got somebody with her. Share it with somebody. Share it with somebody. And let them know we're going into prayer again. Pastor Davis got some folks. Shalanda Raglan <clears throat> says, praise the Lord. Yes. Jacqueline Radway, God is so good to all of his people. Kathy Holbert, good morning to you. And she's ready for prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Ricky Riley is here. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's Alabama. Check it. Shakima. Zachary. Bless your heart, darling. Ah, Mary Rames, it says blessings. Thank God. We need all the blessings. Yolanda Raglan, he's, he's, amen. Get somebody. Share it. Yes, that's right. Misha Bryant, Marcella Reed, Derek McNeil. People of God are excited. I'm excited too. It's an exciting time, isn't it? Cornetta, what's going on, Sister Cornetta? Yes, Lord, my one of my faithful prayer partners. Yes, Lord, Lauren Winston. Amen. And thank God for all of the faithful ones that are here. You, you all are so faithful. Thanks, Peter Keys, my buddy, is here. Wallace Black Jr. on the way. He got a church. He got a moving church. Amen. <laughs> Come, Linda Ryan. Yes, God bless your heart. We are excited about Jesus. Y'all been so faithful to this prayer. I want to thank every one of you for coming. Amen. Lisa Thomas is here. Uh, it's a blessing when you stop, take time just to stop and just go to the Lord in prayer. The enemy can't stop what God is doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. we, we're going to keep on moving on in Jesus' name. Angela Monroe, God bless you. Josia Bishop, I thank God for the saints that are getting mature in God and growing in God. Thank God for yourself. Thank God that you're growing and maturing. Because it means something when you grow and mature because we're not at that same place where we used to be. Amen. Brenda Graves, we are growing in God. We are always uh, do the little uh, saying that teeth bite tongue, but it don't fall out the mouth, do it? They yeah. keep on going. Amen. We have disagreements, but we don't fall out. My daughter said, we ain't going to fall out, Earl Smith. <laughs> if you just want to be difficult, I'm just going to have to leave you. Thank God for Keisha Riley. Bless you, darling. Brenda McCurdy, God bless you. Pastor Samry Jeffrey is here. Bless you, Pastor Sammy. Uh, if, you know, if you just want to be difficult, we're going to have to talk about, or just, you know, we got to work things out on that end. Because you can't be difficult and make me lose out with God. Angela Monroe says, I need a right now word. Yes, Lord. But if we can, we, we can work things out. Ah, keep me bringing your prayers, Evangelist Keys. Because I tell you what, Paul talked about the conversations that would come 
but we can still grow in God together and go Amen. on. And it, it would just be a dull existence to just agree with everything about you mm -hmm. or everything about me. I mean, you don't agree with everything, but as long as it's nothing important. <laughs> So I don't say amen. As long as we agree on the word of God, we fine. Living holy, doing what Malik, amen, doing what Erica, doing, er, doing what God say do, Shawnette, we fine. You might not like the food I like. You might not like the whatever. That's fine. Cynthia Crozier, God bless you. But the, but the point is, as long as we agree on what's important, other stuff don't even matter. Don't, it don't even matter if I like to drive slow or you like to drive fast. Thank God for my nephew Dustin this here. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter if I like pink and you like blue. If it ain't sending us to hell, somebody ought to say amen. amen. We can keep on moving. It's the little foxes that spoil the vine that causes us to, uh, uh, our attention to get on what's important, Antoinette. And we're going to keep our, our focus on the will of God, Talisa, and we're going to do what God has called us to do. Because it's so easy to get off focus, especially in this day and time that we're living in. There's so many alternatives to why we don't have to do what's right. But tell somebody there's really none. And not according to the word of God. Amen. We got to live right and do God's will. Amen. Just because you like something about me and somebody else don't like something about me, I'm not going to tell them. Amen. That's not, we, we mature, we grow. Hallelujah. Jatira, God bless you, little daughter. I enjoyed you last night. Amen. Amen. We grow, we grow, we grow. Sometimes we find out something about someone, if, even if it, was, if, if it was their past life that God had forgiven them for. We don't spread that around. We thank God for deliverance. Somebody ought to say, I'm glad I'm growing in God. I'm glad I'm growing in God. Because that's what it's going to take. Amen. If you used to be a thief, amen, if you don't steal anymore, I don't need to know that. If you, you've been delivered, somebody ought to say amen. amen. I don't need to know nothing about it yet. Yeah, man, tell you about brother, sister, so on. So they used to be a thief. Used to be. Tell them that. Thank God for those used to be, those three words. Used to be a thief, Aquila. Isn't that right, Lauren? Because now since we've been delivered, we're on a whole nother road. We're going down a whole nother path. And the devil is a liar. We're going forward in Jesus' name. So we thank God for the growth. You ought to thank God. Clap your hands for yourself. Amen. 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 Timothy Watson, God bless you. And thank God for the growth in your life. That's right. Sedona says, I'm glad I'm growing in God. Amen. Malik Smith, I'm glad I'm growing in God. That's right. Because a lot of times we miss out on good people. Because of something someone, you know, is holding or have or misunderstanding or whatever the case may be. But, but you know, they have to work on that. Don't let anybody pull you into their mess. Don't let anybody pull you into their junk. Amen. You stay free from that. You say, y'all work that out. I'm busy. I'm, I'm busy loving all y'all. Amen? Amen. Somebody ought to shout glory to God. Glory so to we God. certainly want to thank God for the people of God that are seeking God, getting his word. Because we need a word every day, Robin Clark. Amen. We need a word, Sister Mabel. We need a word every day, Myra, from the Lord. Because the enemy is always trying to stop us from getting to where we need to go. But tell us about it. I'm on the road now. I'm on the road now. I'm out here now, Jacqueline. I might as well keep on going because God is so good to me. Yeah. Ah. Uh-huh. If it's possible, please. Uh, amen. Jacqueline Radway. Amen. Praise the Lord for you. Whatever it is for you that's going on in your life, I pray God will fix it now. Anybody believe God is a right now God yes, answer, a God a, right a prayer answer. answering God? Whatever it is, God work it out. Flora McCloud, see Fayetteville, keep coming on in. And whatever you're going through, I don't care if it's sickness in your body, you got a doctor's report, whatever the case is, this, that, or the other. Amen. Things don't seem to be going well. My job events is coming to an end and seem like folk don't want to do right. I have so much trouble on my job. People, you know, saying this, saying that, doing whatever the other. But let me tell you something. Put your mind on Jesus. Yes. Thank and you. believe God to answer your prayers. Don't let it worry you or nag you to bring you out of character. Don't let it, Friday, God bless you, don't, Lenora, don't let it, uh, Sister Miko, bless your heart, don't let it nag you so until it gets you out of the will of God mm -hmm. and you can't receive your victory. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Because, yes. you know, some folk just been put there to vex you. Mm -hmm. Some folk just been put into this world to vex you so you don't reach your destiny. Mm -hmm. and, you, and, you, and you need to recognize that so that you'll know how to handle that. Mm -hmm. And you won't stay in that place where you can't grow. There's some situation that's been put in your life to vex you. But you got the power over it. Oh, Amen. you ought to speak that power right now. And rebuke that thing off you from vexing you to the point where it's got your attention to where you can't focus on the thing that God is pulling you into. Mm -hmm. Lord, I just want to thank you. I had to get that out that was in my spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And so that's what the enemy come to do to sidetrack us. Oh, but tell us about I will not be sidetracked. I will not be sidetracked. Aren't you glad the thing that God did for you, delivered you, and saved you, it didn't happen in a corner? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. This thing won't done in no corner. I, I'm out here on purpose. I'm going to blast yes, on purpose. Yes, yes. I'm blasting on purpose because I am a witness for God. I live holy. I live right. Mm-hmm. I want the enemy to know that even though he knows it, sometimes you got to put it in his face and let him know. I'm going to stay with God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Through hard trials, tribulations, we can all testify, put up two hands, maybe throw in a couple of feet. Mm-hmm. We've had some trials and tribulations in our lifetime. Woo, that's right, Sister Dawn. I would thank not be sidetracked Jesus. because God has been so good to me. You, and and, and I'm telling you something. This, this prayer today is it, going to help us <clears throat> to stay focused even more Amen. on what God getting ready to do. Amen. So I want you to get ready. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what's going on in your life right now. Yeah. I don't care what you've been faced with. I don't care what news you received. I plead the blood of Jesus over your situation that God will give you the strength and comfort and the peace mm, of God. You, that surpasses all understanding that you will get the next thing you need mm-hmm. to get to the next level that God is pulling you to. But I'll say, God, I don't want to be stagnated. God, I don't want to be stagnated. But I want to keep moving forward. I want to keep moving forward. Amen. As we get ready to pray, I thank, thank God you, and for Jesus. Sister Jennifer Teresa Black being here with me Amen. today. Thank God for Sister Stephanie. Amen. Amen. Thank God for all of you that's coming in now and that will be coming in later. I want you to receive the word. Oh, my now. Receive the word of God. I feel the Holy Ghost right where I'm at. In the name of Jesus. As we get ready to pray, bring somebody with you. On your heart, on your mind. Bring somebody. There's more than one person. It don't matter how many. Oh, my God, Lord, I just want to thank you. Bring them in and believe God for them for a miracle today. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you are doing even right now. Mm-hmm. For you a miracle, oh, a miracle working God. You working miracles in our be- on our behalf right now. We thank you for all of your goodness and all of your mercy, mm, all of your grace toward us. Mm-hmm. You are mighty God. It had not been for you, Lord, we don't know where we would be. We thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. The devil is a liar. He will not put nothing in my path that's not of God. He will not allow me to go down any road or avenue that God is not sending me. I'm being led by God. I'm being taught by God. Oh, my God, I thank you. God is speaking to me now and leading and guiding me in the way that he wants me to go. I thank you, Lord, for direction. We rebuke Satan in Jesus' name. And we plead the blood of Jesus. We loose the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yes, that would have free course wherever we are. Hey, now, uh, hey God, I thank you. And he do all things decent and in order. The Holy Ghost will have control yes. over our situation. Thank we'll never you, be the God. same. You, Only going to speak what God says, speak. Nothing else. In Jesus' name, for Lord, wash us clean in your blood. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Anything that will hinder us, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. Jesus. Heal us, deliver us, and set us free. Yes. Take us to a higher place in you. And we thank you for the victory yes. in Jesus' yes. name. Thank God for Pastor Black. <clears throat> Amen. Here today, we praise God for everyone. Get your prayer books out, saints. And I want you to write this word down. Announcement. Announcement. Mm-hmm. Sometimes God will take us back to do some things we did before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I say, I remember the announcement. God said, I want you to make an announcement. Hey, my, 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 my. You got to make another one. Mm-hmm. Somebody getting too quiet now. Uh-oh. God said, I need you to get vocal. I, I need you to be uh, intentional. Amen. 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 I, I, I need you to be aggressive. Amen. Hey, God, I thank you. We was getting on on, on the, uh, what was that thing, Sister Jennifer? To take us to the next place, the next uh, place on the, in the airport. And you got to get on the train. On, on the transit. Yes. And you know, y'all know how that comes quick. If you come fast, you got to move. People coming in and out. There was a few girls getting on. The man said, be aggressive, girls. Be aggressive. And you got to move. <laughs> you got to, like, bombard your way to get in. Mm-hmm. The Lord is saying, I want y'all to be aggressive with my word. I want y'all yes. to be aggressive. Yes. I want you to move on in there. When the time mm-hmm. allow itself, just go right on in. Don't hesitate. Mm-hmm. Then I'm on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Don't hesitate. Get, get in there and get my word out. Mm-hmm. Because I need you to make an announcement because the enemy is going mm-hmm. to try to take your statement. Yes. That you're getting ready to make. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I just want to thank you. An announcement is a statement made to the public. Uh-huh. Or to or the media, mm-hmm. uh-huh. even 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 more broad than, than just the public, the media, uh-huh. which gives information yes. about something that has happened uh-huh. or will happen. Uh-huh. Oh, anybody, I want you to make this announcement now: a statement made to the public uh-huh. or the media, which gives information about something that has happened uh-huh. or will. Happen, mm-hmm. and the thing about an announcement that we have to make it has to be official. Mm-hmm. In order for your announcement to be official, the law says you have to make it. And not mine. You can't send nobody to make this one for you. Amen. You can't send nobody in your place. Mm-hmm. He said your testimony got to come from your mouth. 
It's got to be an official announcement. You know how people sometimes want to take your words mm -hmm. or take something that you're going to do and try to announce it before you do, mm -hmm. and it's not official. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and people that see it, they call it out. So this is not a, an official announcement. Mm -hmm. Haven't been made by the family. Yeah. Haven't been made by the right uh -huh. one. Yeah. So God is saying, He wants you to make the announcement official. Mm -hmm. it has to come from you. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you've been elected by God to this office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. To, to, to bless Him at all times mm -hmm. and His praise continue to be in your mouth. You got to make this official announcement. Mm -hmm. that, excuse me, y'all. To make an announcement, I'm not gonna talk the way I used to talk. Mm -hmm. His praise shall be in my mouth continually. Yes. Uh-huh. My boast shall, my soul shall make a boast in the Lord. This I'm making an announcement mm -hmm. publicly. It's not done in the corner. Mm -hmm. My Lord say, Amen. amen. It's your duty. Amen. Hey, duty. God have entrusted you with this power. Mm -hmm. Lord, I just want to thank you Amen. to be official. Oh, yes, not my yes, Sunday. Amen. You got to speak up for yourself. Amen. You got to speak up for him. Amen. You got to do it. Nobody else can do it for you. Amen. Will you do that? No, no, no. God's ain't calling you to do it. Yes, so many times we allow people to step ahead of us that God didn't put ahead of us. So many times we allow people to do things that God didn't tell them to do. Amen. Amen. And we allow it to happen. And it don't work right because that's not the will of God. Mm -hmm. When God says he wants you to do something for him and for it to be official, he wants you to step up to the plate. Yes. Somebody got to step up to the plate. Up to Can't the nobody plate. do it like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not official mm -hmm. if someone else is talking for yes. you. Mm -hmm. But I give him permission. God said he ain't giving you no permission. He give nobody permission. Mm -hmm. He wants you to do this for him. I know in the natural world we can give people permission to decide for us. Mm -hmm. We can sign papers that they have the right to do this for us. But when it comes to the spiritual, somebody mm -hmm. ought to say, come on here now. Come on when it comes to your testimony, your praise, mm -hmm. and what God is telling you to do, you can't sign this off to nobody. Mm -hmm. You can't pass this down to mm -hmm. nobody. Oh my, can't nobody else be on this but you. Amen. You got to do what God called yes. you to do. You are the announcer. Mm -hmm. You got to open your mouth and speak the word of God. Speak it, speak it. And you can't hide behind nobody. I just work in the background. I'm so sick of folks trying to hide in the background. But thank God for the background work. Yes. But every now and then we see them at the forefront. Amen. We see what they do. When you work background, we actually see what you do because it's powerful. You, I'm just hiding in it. I'm going to the back. I want nobody to know I'm here. That ain't what I'm talking about. That, 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 that's what I'm talking about right there. You got, I'm, I want nobody to know I'm here. You got to let somebody know that you're here. Yes. Even background workers know when background workers are present. Yes. But I'll say, man, yes. even, even though they're in the back, nobody can't take their place. Yes. Even though they're doing the background work, nobody can do what they do. Yes. We see it because they make an announcement. I'm the one doing this. Yeah. I'm the one doing these cameras. I'm the one doing this media. I'm the one doing this work. Mm. And people know, don't step in my lane. Don't you know? Yeah. Huh? Tell me, don't step over in my lane. Don't step over my lane. Need you to stay in your lane. I have a responsibility. Yeah. I have a duty. God has given me a duty and assignment. Oh, God, that he, he trusted me with yes, to get his is. word out. So, therefore, I have to make an announcement. Yeah. And sometimes people, I, the thing that gives me a lot of time, people, I'm so quiet. I'm an introvert. Mm -hmm. I'm not an extrovert. So, you ought to rebuke that introvert spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. When it comes to pronouncing, and make an announcement yes. for God. Yes. It was all right to be introverted at the time you need to be. Yes. Amen. But when it comes to doing God's will and crying out and sparing out, you got to be extra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. If I be getting ready to be extra now, I wish you would sit and let yeah. folks say, I wish they would sit down and hush. Let them say it all they want to tell them, no, I'm getting ready to be extra right now because I had to make an announcement that God is getting ready to do something for me. I told you the announcement is something that has happened or will happen. Anybody need God to do something, need something to happen, I need you to step up and be extra. I need you to be an announcer on what you want God to do. Y'all remember Jacob when he needed God to do something? He sent everybody forward in the 37th, in the 32nd chapter of Genesis, Genesis 32, when he was down there, he needed a blessing from God after he saw himself in his situation. Now he wanted to make things right. He said, I need a blessing. What I like about it was when he wrestled, when he was wrestling, he told the one he was wrestling with, he announced, I'm not going to let you go until you bless my soul. This is the announcement. I'm not going to let you go until you bless my soul. And did he get his blessing? And, 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 and when you make an announcement, oh my Lord, I just want to thank you. You, you got to give important details and dates and times and locations. And when Jacob received his blessing, he named the place Penuel. He said, I've seen God face to face. In other words, I knew God was going to show up. I knew I was going to see God in this. Somehow or another, I was going to see God work this out. Mm -hmm. So when you begin to make an announcement, you got to give right details yes. because it's, it's something getting ready to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So folk want to know what's getting ready to happen. That's God right. get ready to heal me. Mm -hmm. Oh, why? Because he said, I'm the Lord yes. that healeth thee. Yes. I'm making an announcement. I'm healed. I'm already going to make my announcement and then God's going to do what I announce I'm that he's going to do. Yes. And it will happen. It has happened. Ooh. But I don't say some things getting ready to happen in my life. Ready to happen. You got to write down important dates and times and locations yes. so you can 
remember what God did for you. Mm -hmm. mm, tell somebody I feel an announcement coming. I feel an announcement coming. And I'm getting ready to make this thing out in the yes. open in public and in the media. Yes. I mean, the church got to hear this. Yes. My sisters and brothers got to hear about this. My family members need to know what Ooh. God has done or what he's getting ready to do. Amen. I say, getting ready to bless me. Getting ready to bless me. God, get, don't make no moves right now. God, get ready to bless you. Don't make no sudden moves to get out of his will. God, get ready to bless you. Amen. Amen. Oh, the enemy wants us to hush up. Okay. That, that's what he wants us to do. Yes. Hush up and get quiet. Don't take all that yes. noise. They loud there. It's time you on 50. All, you on the, all the time. You just loud. I'm on purpose. Amen. Intentional. I'm being yes. aggressive yes. because I need God to do something Ooh. for me. Ooh. When you need to do something, God to do something for you, you, you just don't sit there and get quiet mm -hmm. and hush up, act like you ain't in the room. And when you God over here, you waving and then trying to get God's attention as much as you can. Yes. When you make your announcement, you want people to hear what you're getting ready to say. Yeah. That's why you don't do it quietly. Tell somebody when God do something for you. When God do something for you. You want folk to know what has been done. Yes. We make all kind of announcements in, in, in the natural yes, but because we want folk to see us in, in certain Amen. areas of our life. I have a new position. I have a new car. Amen. I'm engaged. I said yes. yes. I did all this. We make all these announcements. Yes. Amen. Amen. When, when it comes to doing God's will, I'm going to go with God all the way. And a lot of times we can holler fast stuff like that. Yes. For God I live and for God I die. Yes. I purpose in my spirit I'm going to pray today like never before. Yes. God, I'm going to you and pray. I'm going to live holy. I'm going to witness. Ooh. And a lot of times we don't make those uh, announcements. I'm going out today to witness to somebody. Uh -huh. The devil said, no, 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 see, you don't need to do that because uh -huh. it's, we, we live in a dangerous time. That's Tell somebody, but I'm going to make an announcement and it's going to be loud. Uh -huh. That's so God going to save somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody witness to me, so I got to witness to somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you are announcing, yeah. amen, what you are announcing is good. Yeah. Amen. It's going to save somebody. Yeah. It's going to heal somebody. Yeah. It's going to strengthen somebody. Don't you know your announcement going to bring somebody in? Yeah. Yeah. Your announcement going to save somebody's life. Ooh. If you keep that thing to yourself, somebody will never see Christ until they see yeah. him through you. Yeah. Don't you know you are the only Christ that some people are ever going to see in this yeah. life? God. That's why your announcement got to be out there on blast. Ooh. That's why I'm on blast. That's the day, y'all. Yes, get it. might as well get you so you might as well get used to it. <laughs> Yes, Amen, because yes, I got to make an announcement. Gotta it's going to gonna announcement. save somebody's yes, life. Boy. Somebody going to, amen, miss yes, the, 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 the burning hell Come because on. of my announcement. Somebody going to miss trouble Ooh. because of my announcement. Yes, somebody going to get delivered because yes, of my yes, announcement. Yes, oh, I wish I had somebody that wanted to, to set somebody free. Yes, make somebody free just like you. Yes, Anybody yes, want somebody else to be free yes, beside yes, you? Yes, oh, God, I just want to thank you. Yes, what I'm announcing is everything yes, I know about God. Yes. I said, what, what, what kind of, everything I know about God. Everything, everything, I, know everything about I know him to do. Yes, everything I've seen him do. Yes, Amen. Yes. Everything I believe him to do. Oh, yes, it's yes. all about God because oh, if it's about God, yes, he will bring it to pass. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You got to give important details and dates in your announcement. Yes, Amen. Yes. You know, we give details about everything else we do. Yes, we give yes. how we went down to the car lot, didn't have no money. Yes, yes. Amen. And then I told the man, this car for me. He said, You don't have good credit. That's all right. God, we get all these details. All the we details. got to give details about the spiritual. Ooh. On, it, I got up this it. morning with my mind stayed on Come Jesus, on, and right. I promised God in my heart I'm going to live for him today. Yeah, it was 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah. and I said, Lord, in about 10 more minutes, I'm going to spin with you, yeah. and then I'm going to go on, and then I'm going to go out, and I'm going to do what yeah. I got to do. Yeah. Amen. We, we, need, we need to get more details. Yeah, 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 I, was, yeah. I was at Walmart, and God spoke to me. Yeah. Amen. I was over there at the altar, Ooh. and God said a word to me. Yeah. Where did you get your deliverance from, child? I got it. Trusting God on my knees. You got to give people details so they'll know how to get stuff from God. How do you get to where you are with God? I spent time with him. Let me tell you something. Sometimes it was hard. Sometimes it was easy. Yes, and sometimes I didn't understand, but, but God brought me through. Wow. I kept holding on. I kept trusting. Yes, I kept God. believing. Where yes, were you? Sometimes I was at the altar. Right. Sometimes I was on my knees yes. in my prayer closet. Yes, sometimes Lord. I was riding in my automobile. Yes. But wherever I was, God delivered me because I believed. Yes, yes, yes. What time was it? Sometimes it was early. Sometimes it was late. Yes, sometimes God. I didn't even know what time it was. Hey, but I know that God brought me through. God. You got to give people details. Let them know what God can yes, do. Lord. It yes. just didn't happen because I was cute. Uh -huh. Come on and say that. It didn't happen because my name was such and such a Amen. name. Yes. It didn't happen because I had a, a whole lot of followers. Ooh, yes. It didn't happen because I went viral. Yes. It happened because it was because of God. God. Not by power, not yes. by might, yes. but by my spirit, Ooh. said the Lord. Yes. That's God. why this happened. Somebody ought to say, that's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. Ooh, you gotta let, we got to make the announcement that God is a deliverer. He's a healer. What do you 
what he delivered you from. Let me tell you what he delivered me from when I was here. He brought me from that. Now I'm no longer the same. And when you get delivered for real, folk can never trace where you've been because God didn't erase every trace of your past. I wish I had somebody that wanted to make an announcement about being delivered. Even though I wanted to talk about deliverance because deliverance is real. He wanted to make, he want people to think that you got to have some traces of stuff. Amen. Just carry it with you everywhere you go. But you want to tell somebody the details of your deliverance and how God reached way down and he delivered that thing out of you. Amen. Sometimes you wanted that thing more than you wanted life. But God reached way down and God delivered you out of it and he gave you life for real. Sometimes you can even make a wise choice, a decision, but God delivered your mind. He delivered your hands. He delivered your feet from going to the wrong place. He delivered your hands from touching stuff you should have been touching. He delivered your mouth when you couldn't even control yourself. Wanted to tell everything, but God delivered you and put a praise in you. Thank you, Jesus. Can I get somebody in it? Everybody, just a few of just a few bodies yes, yes, that will believe that God is a deliverer. He's a peace giver. When my mind was going 100 miles per hour, I want you to know I'm making an announcement. He delivered my mind, yes, gave me peace. Now I'm free and I'm settled down in God. Wish I had saved my Savior. He saved me from my sin. I was doing some stuff. They ain't been, I don't even really want a name, but I'm telling you, he saved me from some stuff. If you only knew the stuff he brought me from, I want to tell you a piece of my testimony. Yeah, what he brought me out of yeah, the muck and it was muck and miry. I just want you to know that. It was muck and miry. Yeah. But God brought me out. Yes, God. Hey, God. He's my savior now. He's my friend. Yes, I had some friends that I thought was my friend, but uh, they turned their back on me, left me standing all by myself. But I found a friend that stick closer than a brother. You got to give details about God. He'll never leave me. No way. He forsake me. I'm making an announcement that God is and always will be a friend that'll be with you to the end. And then I'm going to make a real announcement that all I ever really needed was God. Right, <laughs> I wish I had somebody while I was looking for stuff in the wrong places, yes, trying to find this, trying to find that. Yes, but at the end of my story, I found out that all I really needed was God. Yes, and when I got God, he fixed everything else. Yes, I wish yes. I had somebody that really, really want to tell the details of how powerful God yes, really, Lord. really is. Yes, mm, give me Genesis chapter 22. Yes, and I'm going to show you just how good God is when you make an announcement. Yes, That's right. Enemy trying to hold our announcement back. But tell somebody, I, when I make the announcement, let me, let, 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 let me tell you something. Victory is already yours. Already Once you already. announce it, amen, God ain't going to let you yes, stand God. there by yourself. Yes, God not going to let you stand there alone yes, when you make an announcement for him. Because it's it. all about God. Yes, mm, when yes. you make an announcement, amen, like I said, you give the important details and dates and times. Yes. And you remember the thing, the hour. Oh, my, na na my, na see, yes, when God Lord. saved you. I'm not even, even us right now, we can remember when we got saved. Yes, we, can re we can remember how God came in and saved us. Yes. You got to tell folk about that day. Ooh, how he day. did. Y'all know that song, I remember that day. I remember that when, day. I, when God did what he did yes, for me. God, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I just want to thank Ooh, you. And he gave day. me power over stuff ah, that I needed Jesus. power, over, power over because he's that kind of God. Ooh, he you. saved me so until now, I don't want to go back. Hallelujah. He saved it. me now until now, I want to hold on. Right. In right. good times, bad times, yes, hard times, Ooh. times I can't understand. Hey, I make an announcement that God is so good until I don't want to go back. Yes, I want to do what's right. I want to live holy. I don't have to be made to do it. I want to do it because I know that God is a good God. And the thing I like about the announcement, really, y'all, I'm telling you, we only give what's important. That's right. Come on. We only give it what's important. All the other stuff don't matter. They wrote down. We didn't want to hear about that. They ain't look at me funny. That ain't even important. The important thing is that we all got delivered from rolling our eyes. We all got delivered from doing what we didn't have no business doing. That's the, I'm delivered now. And the devil don't want us to say that because he want us to stay in that stuff. That stuff. That's why sometimes it's hard for you to talk about to make an announcement. You got to check it. Amen. Because Amen. the devil don't want you to announce it because That's once right. you announce it, then you held accountable held to it. Well, now I wish I had somebody that would want to be accountable. Fuck don't want to be accountable no more. When you, when you announce something, you make an accountability. accountability. It's, it's just decreeing and declaring. We said we decree and declare. That's you just really right. making an announcement. Make it an announcement. You announce it to the world. I'm going to do what God tell me to do. I decree and declare that God yeah. is, he will, and shall yeah. forever be uh, the God that I need him to be. Amen. Get me Genesis 22. Hell, yes, my, na, na, na. Yes. Thank you, Jesus.
Begin to read the book. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Now, I want y'all to go read this in your whole time. In your leisure time, we don't have time for it all. It's about Abraham. Uh -huh. Abraham and his son Isaac. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. When the Lord told him to take him up and, 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 and offer him for a sacrifice. Yes, Lord. Yes, Amen. Lord. It, it, it was, God, if God was a producing faith in Abraham, uh -huh. he was bringing the faith out of Abraham. Uh -huh. He was revealing the faith that Abraham already had. Yes. As long as already have the faith, uh -huh. it's already Come been on, produced. That's that's now, God want to show you what you really have. Uh -huh. Oh, I wish I had somebody that didn't mind going through Ooh, the test to see what you really, really got. Oh okay, goodness. so now God is taking Abraham and telling him to take his son up to the mountain to be oh, sacrificed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Come on, start reading the book. Amen. And it came to pass mm -hmm. after these things mm -hmm. that God did tempt Abraham. Yes, he did. And said unto him, mm -hmm. Abraham. Uh -huh. And he said, Behold, here I am. Here I am. Mm -hmm. And he said, Take now thy son, uh -huh. thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest. And get thee into the land of Moriah, uh -huh. and offer him therefore a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell yeah. thee of. Okay, yeah. so that's the beginning of the lesson. So oh, we know yeah. Abraham is going to the mountain Amen. to offer his son for a sacrifice, which we know God does not delight in human sacrifice. That's right. So that's we should have right. known right then he had the victory. Amen. I wish yes. I had somebody Come on, really say that. Say Amen. So therefore, God is like I said, He's not producing faith in Abraham. Uh -huh. He's bringing out the faith Abraham already has. Because right. you gotta have faith to just pick up your only son. You to Amen. To go to the mountain and believe. That God gonna do hey, what He gonna do, sure. and see, right. go down to verse number uh, 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 five. Uh -huh. Amen. That's the word I want. Number five. Yes, five. And Abraham said unto his young men, mm -hmm. "Abide ye here yeah. with that. Y'all stay right here with these donkeys. Uh -huh. Y'all stay here. He told us, stay here. Go ahead. And I and the lad and, will go yonder uh -huh. and worship uh -huh. and come again unto you. Okay, so he made an announcement Ooh. before he ever went to the mountain. That's right. He said, "Okay, y'all stay here. That's right. Y'all need a little few donkeys. Uh -huh. Y'all yes, stay behind. Yes. Yes. And me and the lad and Isaac, we go on to the mountain. Yes. But we're gonna do what? Worship. Uh huh. We're gonna do what? And come again to you. Come we're going to worship and we're coming back. Yes. Now somebody was saying, now God said go offer him up. Mm -hmm. How you already said it? I'm making an announcement. We're coming back. We're coming, coming back. back. Coming you ought to make an announcement to the devil in the beginning of your trial. Yes. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Uh, when he tell you you ain't coming back, tell I'm coming back. And the reason why I'm coming back because the first thing I'm going to do is worship God. Yes. Worship God. I'm going to bow down before him down. and give him the praise that's due his name. Yes. And once I worship him, he's going to inhabit it. Yes. He's going to live in it. So therefore, if he live it in my praise, he's going to bring me back with the victory. Right. So Abraham already said, I'm making an announcement, we're we coming back. Woo. I know it might not look like it, but we're coming back. On, so they went right. on up to the mountain. Yes, I want you to skip about. They went on up to the mountain. Y'all yeah, read this in your whole leisure time yeah. now. They went on up to the mountain. Right. Uh-huh. And then what did, what did Abraham do mm. when he, no, verse number 13. Mm. Mm. Amen. <sighs> and Abraham lifted up his eyes uh -huh. and looked. Mm -hmm. And behold, behind him, <laughs> a ram caught in a thicket. A ram caught in the thicket. By his horn. Uh -huh. And Abraham went and took the ram mm -hmm. and offered him up for a burnt offering Hallelujah. in the stead of his son. Because God had told him, told him he's, when his faith came out even uh -huh. the more, his faith was revealed, the faith that he had. Yes. He said, don't even touch it, son. I just, I just wanted to see if you would do Ooh. what I wanted you to do. Thank you you know, what, what I, I just wanted to see if you would do what I told you to do yes. if you love me just that if much. Me, just okay, that now read the next verse. Now, this is really, really, really good right here because I told you when you make your announcement, you you, you got to get your locations and your times and your yeah, dates yeah, and you got to remember some stuff you need to remember. Yes, now, read the book. And Abraham called the name of that place. He called it what? Jehovah Jireh. He called the name of the place what? Jehovah Jireh. See how he made his announcement we coming back. Now I'm going to even announce even more. I'm going to give y'all some details oh, yeah. about my announcement. Yes, because some folks ain't going to believe that I went there and did what God told me to do. Uh -huh. Because, But I'm going to name the place. It's, it, it meant something in those times yes. when they marked the place and named That's it. Right. It just wouldn't be marked just to be marked. That's when right. folks get highways and roads Come named on, after them, it's it. for a reason. For a it's real. not just your name and it just, just to be up there. Yes, because right. you did something great something or great. something happened through you. So Abraham said, I'm going to mark this place. Mark I'm going to call it Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah. Oh, yeah. Which means what God uh, will provide. That's it. That's it. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Jehovah Jireh. Yes. And what he meant, he said, keep, keep reading. Keep, I'm getting this. As it is said to this day, <laughs> in the mount of the Lord, uh -huh. it shall be seen. In the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. So anybody Jehovah. that comes to that particular mount yes. knows that that's the mount Ooh, of Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. And you need to mark a place in your yes. life. Whenever folk yes. come to you, that's they'll it. know that's the place of Jehovah Ooh, Jireh. Yes, God. The God that will provide. Uh -huh. When they come to you with stuff, they can't come to you with anything. Somebody, I don't know if it's going to happen. Yes. When you come to me, I'm, I got the place of Jehovah Jireh. That's right, that's it's right. marked on my life. Ooh. So when you come to me, you're going to know that God is a provider. Yes. Every time you turn around, he provides for provide. me. Every time you look at me, he provides. Every time you see me, 
has been a provision. So I wish I had somebody that would announce in your life today to somebody they have lost their way or can't seem to hardly find their way that God is and always will be the God that will provide. Just about making an announcement right now. That when you come to me, if you want any spiritual guidance, you're coming to the place of Jehovah Jireh, the God that will provide. There'll be no lack over here. There'll be no loss over here. He will always provide because I'm making the announcement now. He is my God of overflow. He do exceeding and above all I can ever ask or think according to the power that worked in me. I wish I had somebody that would make an announcement that God is and will forever be my Jehovah Jireh. Y'all pray my strength in the Lord as we leave you on today. Shall you ever announce who God is to you and let somebody else know who he is to you. It ain't done in a corner. I told y'all we on blast. I'm blasting today. I'm loud. I'm going to let the world know that Jesus is my Savior, my King, my Deliverer, my Healer, whatever I need. Over here, over here, provision is always being made. Always made. Things are always where they need to be because of who God is. I announced that today in my life. I will never go back. I'll never go back. But I'm going forward in Jesus' name. Some good happened to you now. Why? Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth passing your way. Now him that's able to do it, sitting in the bullet. But all we could ever ask or think, be power, dominion, glory, majesty now and forever. I love every one of you. Thank you for coming to prayer. Keep me in your prayers. Shall you ever have overflow? Make your announcement so God can give you your victory. Victory yeah. before it ever happened yeah. in Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. Amen.